Spotify is stealing ideas from Songza. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. The competition is heating up in the streaming music world. This week, Spotify is launching a service to its mobile apps called Browse. It features playlists put together by computer calculations and Spotify employees, and these music playlists are labeled for different moods and situations, like when you're going on a jog or trying to set a romantic mood. Sounds like Spotify is trying to do the same thing as Songza, which also has its staff put together creative playlists for different situations and moods. There will soon also be another music service that does the same thing. The revamp of the subscription service MOG, codenamed DAISY, will also focus on curated playlists. This new MOG or DAISY or whatever they're going to call it is run by Beats Electronics and the company hired music industry experts to come up with playlists, including Trent Reznor from Nine Inch Nails. It's expected to launch in a few months, so clearly the concept that got songs of popular is going to be featured in more services. Attention Fablet fans, the new Samsung Galaxy Note will be revealed on September 4th during a technology trade show in Berlin. Bigger than a phone, but too small to be a tablet, the Samsung Note was the original phablet, and this Note 3 is expected to have a 5.7-inch 1080p high-def screen with a stylus. But the Note hasn't been the only phablet on the block. A photo was posted online that's said to be the HTC One Max, sporting a 5.9-inch screen. This phablet could also be released next month. And Microsoft lowered the price of its Surface Pro tablet by 100 bucks, so the 64-gig model now starts at $800. This discount comes three weeks after Microsoft dropped the Surface RT tablet prices by 30%. Although the Pro is more expensive, it'll likely be the Surface model you want to go with since it has the full version of Windows 8 and it isn't limited to only using programs in the Windows App Store. The Pro model also comes with a stylus, but you gotta pay extra for the keyboard cover and for Office software. Google is finally releasing a free app that helps you find your lost phone. It's called Android Device Manager. Apple has had Find My iPhone for years now, and Android users have had to deal with using third-party apps, and not all of them work well. But Google says it will release this new feature later this month, and it lets phone owners ring their phone at a max volume or see where it is on a map. And if your phone can't be recovered, you can erase the data from afar. That's your tech news update. You can read up on more details at CNET.com. Slash update from our studios in New York. I'm Bridget Carey.